the liver king has been exposed so the liver king who is a rapidly growing seems like he came out of nowhere social media phenomena he's been promoting his ancestral way of living and preaches living by these many ancestral tenants some of which i don't necessarily agree with some of them i don't disagree with but he is promoting doing a lot of things he pushes a lot of supplements that he's created and a lot of this is on the back of his social media which always shows him without a shirt his absolutely jacked physique and the thing is he says that these 11 i think it is ancestral tenants that he lives by which is like getting exercise eating liver a bunch of other things he talks about as part of the reason he's able to get this physique well it was speculated it's really due to steroid use and he's claimed multiple times that he's not using steroids which we'll show right here what is the liver king's response to this claim that the you liver know, king saw... is hormonally improved by science the, the question has always been do you take steroids do you take peds the answer to that is no I've always told the truth, I still tell the truth. A, a year ago, maybe two years ago, it was all about like PEDs and steroids, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and then, you know, same question, same answer. I didn't touch the stuff, don't touch the stuff, right? When he said he alluded that you're on steroids or something like that? Yeah, number one, I don't do it. And number two, what I want you to say is, you know what I don't know? I don't know. Oh, Liver King, you're, you're on steroids. You're on PEDs, yeah. you know, and and uh, and so it's like, okay, you know, we, we had a lot of fun with that, you know, and and then we we had a doctor come on, we made a video. If you ever Google uh, Liver King's blood work, we had a legitimate doctor come on, we did like a blood work reveal, that was fun. Uh, but then the accusations never stopped, so I'm like, okay. Well, I assumed you were on steroids. I was talking to some one one of your guys, and I was like, yeah, he's on steroids, right? Like people don't look like that. He was like, no, he's not. And I no, I think I'd heard Rogan say you were on steroids. Everybody, yeah, everybody. Uh, they just they look at it and they think there's something going on here. There's gear, there's steroids, there's performance enhancing drugs. Talk to us about, you know, whether you use performance enhancing drugs or steroids or anything to get this physique. Listen, I love this question. I've been getting this question since high school, and it's done more to lift the Liver King brand and message than any other question. So I hope you asking it now continues to do the same. The short answer is no. I don't touch the stuff. But as it turned out, there were some leaked emails that showed that he actually does use a lot of steroids, a lot of anabolics, a lot of things that are probably not going to be healthy for you long term, but definitely can contribute to your overall ability to build muscle and stay so lean while doing so. Now, Derek from More Plates, More Dates was the one who exposed this story. I don't necessarily blame Derek to bring this to light, and I do think it is problematic for someone to be preaching the things that liver king does to the masses while his message is not entirely bad i don't think most people should be going out and eating lots of raw organs they probably don't need a lot of the supplements but most importantly a lot of people in today's world are deceived into thinking they can attain certain physiques that are just not going to be attainable without the use of anabolic steroids and that is not something that we want to encourage on today's youth and even not youth there's lots of men who are doing things that are not going to be good for their health that they don't need to be doing because they're trying to achieve a attainable physique and there's also people who don't realize that some of these physiques are not attainable and then that leads to mental health issues eating disorders and that is my main issue with this whole story is not necessarily that the liver king was on steroids i think that people can do what they want with their bodies and would hope they're doing things that are safe for them but if he chooses to do steroids that's his own prerogative the difference is when you're lying about it and using your physique that you say is from these supplements and this ancestral lifestyle and using it as a way to make millions and millions of dollars that's where i have more problems with it so we're going to take a look at derek more plates more dates video that exposes this i also want to go over some of the things that he was taking and then i'll give my overall thoughts on the situation the one thing before i jump into this that i would say is that it is kind of crazy that this got out because if this was in the medical world and this was him communicating with a doctor this would be violating hipaa but because this is now already extremely public knowledge this was emails that he sent to i believe it was a personal fitness trainer or coach that he was trying to have coach him and work on his physique and it's already exposed i'm going to comment on it with that said generally i think that most of this stuff should have stayed confidential but at the same time i understand derek's willingness to put it out there because i think someone like the liver king and there's many charlatans like him who do a harm to the overall fitness and men's health community because they lie i don't think there's a problem again if liver king himself for apparently worked with a doctor doing these steroids i mean i don't think that's good 
good for his health it's definitely not but he is an individual he can do as he wants the problem is lying about it to millions of people and making millions and millions of dollars from those lies all right let's get into the video here's what i'm currently taking so here's this stack igf1 lr3 presumably i've been taking this for a year cjc with imap I've been taking this for a year so here i'm assuming he's talking about CJC1295 drug affinity complex, like there is a difference between, there's mod GRF 1-29, which is like a shorter acting. We'll get into it later as far as like what GHRPs are, GHRHs, et cetera. But this is like a peptide combination, CJC1295 with DAC, I'm assuming he's talking about, with Ipamorelin, I'm assuming, not IMAP. I'm sure he's just hastily writing this, hence why there's like missing shit. But CJC with IPAM is a very, very common combination. Been taking this for a year. Ibutamorin, also known as MK677, orally active, GH secretagogue and ghrelin receptor agonist. Been taking this for two months. Omnitrope, human growth hormone pharma grade. Been taking this for six weeks. Testosterone cypionate, 0.6 cc per week. Cruise dose, so that, you know, presumably would be 120 milligrams per week if you do 0.6 times one with a 200 milligram per milliliter concentration. 120 milligrams per week of test sip is not that high. DECA, nandrolone decanoate, 0.6 cc per week. Been taking this for three weeks, so three weeks of 120 milligrams per week. Pharma grade, of course. Winstrol, 50 milligrams a day. Just started this, been taking this for three weeks, and this is all presumably pharma grade through the pharmacy mentioned and having a legitimate prescription i know it to be the case that all of these are prescribable even winstrol which sounds fucking baffling and does it actually have like a clinical application that makes sense very rarely but presumably he has a script for it i'm doubting he's using ugl winstrol just randomly as his choice of compound there are fewer compounds to choose from like you're not gonna get trenbolone through a fucking pharmacy but you know, Winstrol, one of the available orals that presumably he arrived on as the one to add in. So anyway. All right. So <laughs> Derek's pretty funny with how he describes these. But in short, Liver King is taking IGF LR3, which is an insulin like growth factor. He's taking a different variety of peptides and peptides is a very hot craze. Maybe we'll make a video on it. Uh, some of them, there is potentially some good evidence that they are effective in terms of recovery, longevity, building muscle, different things. Although the research there is still murky for sure. He's also taking just straight up what we would call steroids when you think of steroids. So uh, the DECA, uh, even the Winstrol, although like prescribed, it's not really used in a clinical context much. Those are steroids. He's taking testosterone on top of that. And he's taking Omnitrope, which is essentially human growth hormone. And so he's taking all the things that you can take to get jacked. Now, can you take all these things and have the physique he does if you don't actually work out hard and have enough protein to maintain this muscle? No, you actually can't. A lot of people think you could just shoot steroids and become instantly jacked. That's not how it works. However, he is on a lot of stuff. Now, a lot of these things are not going to be healthy for him. And especially when it comes to longevity, as well as cardiac health, his kidney function, these steroids, they're not good. It's also going to suppress his HPA axis, and it's going to make it harder for him to naturally create LH and FSH and testosterone down the line. So my guess is even if he does come off of this, he'll probably not definitely, but possibly need to be on testosterone replacement therapy. I'm sure that's what he would be doing anyway. I mean, he might just stay on all these steroids. I don't think him getting exposed in regards to this information is really going to change much. But I thought it'd be interesting to kind of go over the different things that he's taking. Also, comment on the fact that this is definitely not healthy for the long term. And this is why you see a lot of bodybuilders who take these things while they look like they're in peak condition and they look absolutely shredded. Long term, it is not good for their health. And a lot of them end up dying young. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts on this matter? It's actually a pretty complicated story. There's a lot of facets to it. I mean, one is the fact that even this information got out meant that in, in a sense, patient confidentiality was violated, although it was a coach that leaked these emails, I believe, that I don't think had like HIPAA requirements. On the other hand, I do think it's important that the general public understand that some of these types of physiques are not going to be attainable naturally. And there are some amazing physiques that you can get naturally, and there are health influencers out there that are doing it right. But it's important not to buy into almost the cult-like thinking of some of the fitness niches. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of hate on this video just for, for talking about this. But at the other end of the spectrum, just because he lied about this doesn't mean everything that the Liver King talks about 
about is false. I know he preaches a lot about exercise, proper diet, working hard, and those are not necessarily bad messages. So not everything's always so black and white. Most of life falls in the gray. And I think there's lots of components to this story. I hope this is a learning lesson for the liver king. I hope this is a learning lesson for the general public. And if you are ever thinking about getting on different types of supplements or experimenting with steroids or anything like that, I really do encourage you, speak with a doctor. Really try to make sure you are taking safe steps for your health. Uh, I don't encourage getting on steroids. There's definitely a place for TRT for certain men that actually need it. And that's where I'll end it here. If you're liking these types of videos, I'd love if you could subscribe. I want to start making more content like this. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.